Hi guys, it's Debbie, and I'm going to do a poured painting um, using acrylics, a fluid poured, dirty cup. And Lily, my cup looks dirty, even though this one is dry. I do use a dirty cup. I usually use what is left over from the previous painting. And if there's stuff left in here, I'm going to paint tomorrow. I'll just give it a couple squirts of water and put a... Um, plastic bag over it to cover it and it usually stays pretty good oh you wait too many days it might not stay great but one or two days that all always works for me anyways all my paintings are mixed up to oh, all my paints <laughs> milk and magnesia sorta and um I have some sorry about that a couple of them are Kratotex which I've really enjoying these because if the ones of mine that are sealed really well they just pour out perfectly you don't have to do anything to them the ones that are a little thick because they're very old um, I have thinned those down with golden pouring medium today and I've used flow trough I like them both pretty much well actually equally and so this one this black was a little thick and that is so strong so um, I've mixed them up a little bit so that they pour very simply. And what else do we have here? I have some glitter paint. And I'm really enjoying. I don't think you can see on screen, I mean on the video, how awesome this looks in the final painting. I've tried showing, but it's really hard. You can pick up a couple little sparkles, but it really... I feel it looks super cool so I will be putting some of this in and if you can't find it already in some paint I bought recently this I don't even know the name but I bought this at Michaels it's just very fine glitter and I you can mix that with any pouring medium or flow draw and create the same effects as what I'm gonna do so with all that said, all the ones when you see me pull up little tiny cups, those are all the Creative Text ones because I'm I have a lot of the other kinds of paints, so I don't know what it would look like to do a full poured painting with the Creative Text, but it might be super cool. But anyways, mine are all ready to go. They also have a squirt of silicone. All of them have silicone in it. It's the magic ingredient. So, okay, so I'm just going to bring you down, get you down here. All right. I want to get you a little closer, make sure I have you close enough so that you can really see what's going on. I think that's probably pretty good once I get you. Apologize for that. It's hard to have it both ways. Have it up in the air and talk to you and then close so you can just see what's going on. Okay, so whoop, watch out for that. Okay, I also use, um, these are those plastic buckets that you store things in. I use these to put my paintings on and I I really like them. I have to say they're, they're easy to clean up and uh, except for it does pop up in the air a little bit once in a while. <coughs> Okay, so we are, oops, here's my, we're going to use an 8x10 canvas <coughs> for this painting. So, here we go. I made one last week. Man, this painting turned out so nice. So I'm going to try a little, try to duplicate a little bit. I guess I'm going to have to write down the orders I put the paints in. But... One side of it was a pretty blue, and the top of it had, oh my god, it just turned out fabulous. I did do a video of that, I just don't have it up yet, but I do plan on putting it up. Okay, let's see. Sometimes I just leave these in here. 
a string thing and then you know, it's ready to go again. Okay, I want to put, you watch at the end, a lot of times this black, it's just, it's quite amazing, I, I feel. Maybe today won't be as amazing as that. I thought it was. Okay, now the creative text very bright. You know, it's almost like a neon pink, but I don't believe it is. Let me look and see which one it is. Hmm. Hot pink. Okay. I also have a little metallic -y pink here. I thought I'd put some of that in too. I know all these different pinks, but I think they, I don't know. We have hot pink, we have a metallic pink, and now we have just a regular pink that I've mixed up. I'm going to add a bunch of yellow to this, I think. And Did we put any of that silver in? Oh, shoot. I always forget that. I'll tell you how much I like it. Let's put it on top again. Yeah, let's leave it there. Okay. All right. Get all these out of the way. I don't know if any of you guys have tried doing this, but I've spilt quite a few paints. The floor, this carpet in this room was new carpet just two years ago, and it's full of paint already. <laughs> it's, I can see. I don't, not sure if you can see, but I surely can see the sparkles in there. All right. Today I'm going to use a spatula. And not sure how much I want to move this around yet, so it's hard to um, work so fast on these. If I was working on this without making a video, I would be going way slower and thinking about every move. I don't think you guys want me to do that. <laughs> so, I kind of like all the colors on this. I like the way the yellow is kind of separated. I don't know if you can see this, but that sparkly blue is a whole bunch of it right in there. So. Now, on these canvases, you can you can push up from the bottom if you don't want to lose, like when you pour it on there and you really like what's going on. You can kind of push up from the bottom and it'll evenly... Because as you're tilting this, you know, the colors are really moving. But if you push up from the bottom, you'll kind of evenly pull out. So, um, I don't know if you can see, but I can see different colors of pink going on right here. Did I, I did put red in there, though. There's, that might be the red. Or it could be that hot pink. I'm not sure. Um, but here, this looks like the last pink I put in there. And I can see... That metallic -y pink, it's in the center of that one. So, and there's some red right there. Was you to tap the bottom, it'll bring up some of the different colors. Alright guys, I think... I think I got all the sides. What I'm going to do... So I can give it a quick hit with the heat gun. My heat gun um, <laughs> I've only used this particular one a few times and I have to tell you it is full of paint already. It's getting paint all over it. Um, if you don't like getting dirty I don't know how you can do this kind of painting. So. Just let me heat up for a second. This one heats up pretty fast. It's just a cheap 
pecan, but at Home Depot or Lowe's, I just went with the cheapest one. It's really popping up some of the bubbles right now. I think it's got plenty I don't want to do anymore. Not that I'm going to stop it because over the next hour it will continue to change with more of the, the cells or bubbles, whatever you want to call it. So, can you see? Maybe I move that too fast. Try my best um, to show you what I'm doing. I'm not a professional filmmaker, but I'm trying <laughs> to make sure that you, um, I can teach you something, I'll at least show you what I'm doing. But this middle one is really lightening up a little bit. All right, I'm, this particular painting, I love that yellow, orange, and pink right in there. Hmm. Anyways, I'm going to let this one sit, and I'm all done right now working on it, and hopefully, um, it won't change too much more because I'm pretty happy with it. So anyways, I want to really thank you guys for stopping by.